provided he follows proper procedure. Travers. Travers. Ears are born. Quiet. Our mission is here, Sicily, the village of Adanti. S2 is reporting four enemy AA emplacements positioned throughout the village. The first is located to the west, in a sector hereafter referred to as Hill Houses. The second is located just beyond the northeast gate leading out of the village. The final two are heavily defended, located on the roof of the mayor's residence, recently converted to an enemy command post. This is our most current recon on the drop zone. Red markers indicate the areas of highest enemy concentration. Unless you plan to win this war on your own, I suggest you avoid them at all costs and steer instead for the green smoke flares. We move out in two hours. Dismiss. Tell the CO we got this one. Sir, Sergeant Setzer's requesting reinforcements ASAP! Christ! We're spread thin as it is. Okay, you and Travers go, I'll hold here. I can't stand Setzer anyway. Where's Sergeant Gage? Lazy bastard! Are you doing my own reinforcements? What are you waiting for? Go! You, Travis, you're firing up. See those troopers up there? Those are Germans. Unlike the Atas, they know how to fight. Watch them. We need to find that sniper team. About time somebody showed up. Stay clear of the window. There's a sniper across the way. He got Harding there. He thinks he got us both. He's been on the radio for reinforcements. You're gonna have to take the shot. Take part in Springfield. Damn, he's gotten through. The Germans are moving in. They're trying to retake the town. Hurry! Colonel Scott Webb, commanding officer. This is the after-action report for the 82nd Airborne, July 11th, 1943. Landed at 2230 hours under heavy fire. Airborne troops destroyed all enemy AAA emplacements in and around Adanti. Village and its environs were cleared and secured. Enemy currently retreating to the north. This operation, the first combat jump for our division, was decisive, but costly. The war has begun. May it end soon. Gentlemen, I am as surprised to be here as you are. We were not intended to support the invasion of Italy, but after steamrolling inland in what looked like an easy victory, General Clark's men have been subjected to fierce counterattacks and are taking heavy losses. The Germans withdrew their supply lines all along the Amalfi Coast, forming staging areas to support surprise counterattacks. The largest of them is located here, near the Pestum Archaeological Project outside Salerno. The Germans are dug in and well protected among the ruins. We must dismantle their operations piece by piece. An enemy communications center is located to the south. 
Strike fast. A motor pool lies to the north. Sabotage any and all fuel supplies. Finally, we have reports that the enemy has a munition stockpile hidden somewhere among the excavation. Find it and remove the threat. Okay. Dismissed. for destruction. He's got Warhawks ready and waiting to do a flyby. You airborne guys sure know how to fight. Care to join us? Fire in the hole! I guarantee you, it'll be a blast. Let's move out! Scott Webb, Commanding Officer, this is the after-action report for Operation Avalanche, September 13th, 1943. Airborne troops assembled and were en route within 45 minutes. Landed on enemy staging area, dismantled fuel depot and combo center, liquidated materiel, and assisted in the destruction of enemy long-range artillery. Operation deemed a success. Rome is within reach. Germans retreating to the north. Guess it's time to brush up on our French. Thirty minutes ago, 6,000 British and American ships left ports in England bound for France. This is Normandy, the Allies' next step in liberating Europe. At 0600 hours, General Barton's men are gonna hit the beach in small craft with no cover. Their survival depends on you. The Navy cannot supply fire support for the beach landing until a German battery of shore guns has been neutralized. The guns receive firing coordinates from an inland fortifications network. We must cripple enemy communications by destroying this key radar antenna. We must also disable this spotting tower. We take out the enemy's eyes and ears, they got no chance. S2 and S3 predict we'll encounter enemy armor in this operation. To that end, we're dropping M18 bundles near the DZ. Airborne, you are about to play a pivotal role in the downfall of Nazi oppression. Good luck.
guess the Navy gets credit for that kill, huh? It's an officer. We gotta get to those pillboxes before more men get onto the beaches! We'll move slow and use cover! Take them one at a time! Wait, we're going down there? Into the trenches? Of course we are! We're airborne! <laughs> Colonel Scott Webb, commanding officer. This is the after-action report for Operation Neptune, June 6th, 1944. Dropped behind enemy lines at dawn, suffered heavy losses, and took all objectives. After Come securing on! the main battery, we pushed toward Utah, cleared all enemy gun positions. Allied forces now moving inland from the beaches. I have no doubt that history will remember the airborne on this day. Your acts of courage will be revered for generations to come. On me. We're going for the knockout punch on this one. If we succeed, we might be home in time for Christmas. Now pay attention. Operation Market Garden requires airborne forces to secure several key bridges on the road to Arnhem. It's a risky plan, one that cannot withstand even the smallest of failures. Our bridge is located in the town of Nijmegen. We must secure the town, then take the bridge. The Germans would rather destroy the bridge and let it fall to us. So we must find and disable any German explosives equipment. Despite heavy Allied bombing, the enemy continues to operate roving armor units. Clear any and all threats from this sector. You are dropping into territory which is firmly in the grip of the enemy. Watch your backs. Dismiss. Commanding officer, this is the after-action report for Operation Market Garden, September 17th, 1944. This was our first daytime jump. As a result, we suffered high casualties. Through fierce fighting, our company accomplished all objectives, ultimately securing the Nijmegen Bridge for armored units moving north toward Arnhem. Captain Campana advises me that during the fighting, Private First Class Boyd Travers distinguished himself by demonstrating great coolness under fire. It is for this reason that I promoted Travers from PFC to Corporal. We could use more men like Corporal Travers. Attention Airborne. This is Operation Varsity. We're finally dropping into Germany. Our enemy is about to collapse, but that does not mean that he is weak. Here's our DZ. Air Force carpet bombed this factory district for weeks, but months worth of war material remains undamaged. This is a Panzer tank assembly facility. 
Local resistance reports a railgun is hidden inside. If you find it, you know what to do. The enemy has several tanks ready to deliver to the front lines. Make sure they never leave this rail yard. This chem plant produces explosives for anti-aircraft shells. We believe there is a large stockpile of munitions in the basement. Find it and do away with it. This is a simple mission. If it can shoot you or be shot at you, destroy it. Dismissed. Colonel Scott Webb, commanding officer. This is the after-action report for Operation Varsity, March 25th, 1945. Landed near our designated DZ and quickly took several objectives, destroying tanks, supplies, and a massive railgun. Sniper fire was heavy, but was eventually overcome by patient tactics and well-aimed counterfire. Our company took especially high casualties after an enemy Panzerzug delivered elite troops to the fight. We must win this. Win it soon. All right, airmen. Two days ago, the Allies began Operation Varsity. Thus far, we have mastered our enemy at every turn. But there is one target that refuses to fall. Our objective? This monstrosity called the Flak Tower. It's a city unto itself, the enemy's last bastion of defense. Our bombers have been unable to destroy it from above. We must first take out its defenses. There are several AA emplacements positioned on the roof. All guns must be destroyed. Enemy armor patrols the ground floor entrances. Once the area is secure, get inside and figure out how to bring it down. We are dropping engineering teams to the main assault force. They will move to set up demolitions as the tower is cleared. You are to assist them in any way possible. Apart from that, you'll have to play it by ear. This mission will be the final test of your skills and courage. I've never seen the Airborne quit, and I don't expect I ever will. I'll see you all back home. Dismiss! Yes, sir. 
Through that sewer is our exit route. As soon as Private Works is done checking the wires, we're meeting up with the demo unit who's ready to blow this thing. Into the sewers! Come on! Colonel Scott Webb, After Action Report, March 27th, 1945. The war is over. Once a mighty force, the German army is now crumbling around us. I believe it is because of the tenacity, the skill, and the guts of the airborne that America has triumphed. The dedication and supreme sacrifice exhibited by these soldiers makes me proud and honored to be a member of the airborne.